Silent Running is a 1972 American environmental-themed science fiction film. It is the directorial debut of Douglas Trumbull and produced by Michael Groskopf. The movie is a tale of ecological preservation in space. As Earth's last remaining forests orbit in domes, botanist Freeman Lowell fights to save nature from extinction. Plot In the future, all plant life on Earth has become extinct due to an unexplained cause. As many specimens as possible have been preserved in a series of enormous greenhouse-like geodesic domes attached to large cargo spaceships, forming part of a fleet of eight American Airlines space freighters, stationed outside the orbit of Saturn. Freeman Lowell, played by Bruce Dern, one of four crewmen, is the resident botanist and ecologist on one of these ships, the Valley Forge. He carefully maintains a variety of plants for their eventual return to Earth and the reforestation of the planet. He spends most of his time in the domes, cultivating the crops and attending to the animal life. The crew of each ship receives orders to jettison and destroy their domes and return the freighters to commercial service. After four of the six Valley Forge domes are jettisoned and destroyed with nuclear charges, Lowell rebels and opts to save his ship's plants and animals. He kills Andy Wolf, played by Cliff Potts, one of his crewmates who arrives to plant explosives in his favorite dome, and his right leg is seriously injured in the process. He then jettisons and triggers the destruction of the other remaining dome to trap and kill the remaining two crewmen. Enlisting the aid of the ship's three service robots, Lowell stages a fake premature explosion as a ruse and sends the Valley Forge careening towards Saturn in an attempt to hijack the ship and flee with the last forest dome. He then reprograms the drones to perform surgery on his leg and sets the Valley Forge on a risky course through Saturn's rings. Later, as the ship endures the rough passage, Drone 3 is lost, but the ship and its remaining dome emerge relatively undamaged on the other side of the rings. Lowell names surviving drones after Disney characters. Drone 1 is named Dewey and Drone 2 is named Huey, while the missing Drone 3 is named Louie. Lowell, Huey, and Dewey set out into deep space to maintain the forest. Lowell reprograms Huey and Dewey to plant trees and play poker. He also has them bury Andy Wolf in the biodome. Lowell begins speaking to them constantly, as if they are children. As time passes, Lowell is horrified when he discovers that his biodome is dying, but is unable to come up with a solution to the problem. Huey is damaged when Lowell accidentally collides with him while driving a buggy recklessly and Dewey sentimentally refuses to leave Huey's side during the repairs. When the Berkshire, another space freighter waiting to see if the Valley Forge has survived the trip around Saturn, eventually re-establishes contact, he knows that his crimes will soon be discovered. It is then that he realizes a lack of light has restricted plant growth, and he races to install lamps to correct this situation. In an effort to save the last forest before the Berkshire arrives, Lowell jettisons the biodome to safety. He then detonates nuclear charges, destroying the Valley Forge, the damaged Huey, and himself in the process. The final scene is of the now well-lit forest greenhouse drifting into deep space, with Dewey tenderly caring for it, holding Lowell's battered old watering can. About the film Silent Running, 1972, is directed by Douglas Trumbull and produced by Michael Groskopf. The film was written by Dirk Washburn, Michael Cimino, and Stephen Bochco. The casting of Silent Running includes Bruce Dern, Cliff Potts, Ron Rifkin, Jesse Vint, Mark Persons, Stephen Brown, Larry Weisenhunt, and Cheryl Sparks. Silent Running was filmed in Valley Forge State Park, Pennsylvania, USA, and in Ames Research Center, Moffett Field, California, USA. Silent Running marked the directorial debut of Douglas Trumbull 
a visual effects pioneer who had previously worked on Stanley Kubrick's 2001, A Space Odyssey. Trumbull's expertise in special effects played a crucial role in shaping the film's visual style. Trumbull utilized innovative visual effects techniques for the time, including the creation of the small drone robots, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. These robots were brought to life through a combination of puppetry and remote-controlled models. To achieve the film's space sequences, practical effects such as miniatures and model work were extensively used. Trumbull's background in visual effects contributed to the film's realistic depiction of space travel and environments. The film features a score composed by Peter Schickele, known for its haunting and atmospheric qualities. The music complements the film's emotional moments and enhances the overall viewing experience. Silent Running was released on March 10, 1972. The film had a relatively modest budget, estimated to be around $1.3 million. The film was not initially a commercial success, exact data on the box office is not available. Silent Running received generally positive reviews for its unique concept and special effects. However, its initial reception was somewhat mixed. The film has gained a cult following over the years, particularly for its ecological themes and impressive visual effects. 10 Interesting Facts About Silent Running Movie 1. Silent Running is considered a pioneer in eco-science fiction, addressing environmental concerns long before it became a mainstream topic. 2. The greenhouse sets, where the last remaining earth plants are kept, were designed to rotate to simulate gravity and were built inside a decommissioned Essex-class aircraft carrier, Valley Forge. 3. Several shots of the Valley Forge and its sister ships were later reused in the television series Battlestar Galactica as agricultural ships in the refugee fleet. Four, the model of the Valley Forge space freighter was 26 feet in length and was constructed with steel, wood, plastic, and over 650 Army tank model kits. 5. Douglas Trumbull gave his blessing to George Lucas when he wanted to create a silent running drone-like robot for his movie Star Wars, 1977, which became R2-D2. 6. The Odyssey carts the crew members drive in the film were custom-built on a chassis designed by the Douglas Trumbull's father. 7. The dome jettisoning sequences were based on Trumbull's viewing of actual footage of Apollo Saturn 5 rocket stage separations. 8. The film follows the same basic outline of another environmental movie, Ark, 1970. 9. The original script describes hundreds of drones being on the ship. 10. Larry Hagman was considered for the role of Freeman Lowell. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos and don't forget to press like button and share.